You think you know me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dragon Ball Dinoverse. This is the second game out of the tree that I've wanted to do something with in this channel. First one was mm, on Tuesday, the track day match, and another one is something that's coming up later, probably on Saturday or something. Or, or tomorrow, who knows. Come on, connect to the server. So yeah, this is Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the <laughs> Dragon Ball game. And it's a fighting game! As as every other game been. Come on, thank you. Yeah, the servers are a little bit dodgy. It takes a few years to actually connect to any of them. Oh my stuff. Right. So this is Dragon Ball Universe. This is my character. A say a male. Level 83. I think the level cap was 80 at some point and they just removed it and you, you can see but to my next level I need a lot of XP for my next level yeah that's gonna be taking a while hey we do on one oh interesting yeah sure this is one of the um, training exercises, which I was not expecting this to be done, but hey, sure, let's go to it. I was plan planning to show a uh, quest and a one-on-one -on -one fight, but no, it looks like we'll be doing this then. So test these characters that do train. Yeah. The one problem with this is the fact that this is 2 on 1 and on later levels anything above 2 star with more than 1 people is pretty much unfair. Ow 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 ow. Yeah, this might be uh take one. Ow. Come on, go the ah! Okay. I'm gonna get serious now. Uh oh. Alright, here's Super Saiyan! Well This has not gone to plan at all. So Super Saiyan. Ultimate fighting bomber. Spam! And spam. Super Saiyan gives you unlimited key. So yeah, that's the thing. Unlimited key, but it trains away a while. Guess what? Spirit Breaker. And let's finish this. Good. You three did well. Now let's go home and get something to eat. Does fighting always make you hungry too? Yeah, it does. And we're clear! This is one of the training exercises, by the way. I don't believe nice. It. You're seriously awesome! C rank. And all the items. And another skill. Nice. I'm still waiting for the Super Kamehameha, too. Get stronger, sure. Oh, one more skill! Excellent! One more skill! And... Yeah, these are the uh, trainers. You can see that I've... Completed three of them started! Actually, Piccolo and Grill are the only ones I haven't even started training with. I mean, I, I was going with Gotenks, and then I saw Goku, and then I, then I went, hell yeah, I need to train with Goku. 
So there is still one character that you can't train with. These are the DLC ones, by the way, down here. I don't have the DLC yet, so... And I probably won't be having DLC, so... There's my stats. Um, I've completed the Time Patrol, which is the story mode, pretty much. And I've done a lot of things. I don't... I usually just play the quests. I don't... haven't really tried fighting against it on any other yet. And the reason because the quest I've been doing with other people, it's been incredibly laggy. I have to Dragon Balls. By the way, these, you actually, 3, 4 and 5 are something that you need to go for. And, um, actually, I'll show you. The time share 3, 4 and 5, they can be found on these parallel quests. Like, NAP5 can be found on this. It's pretty much just a random drop from um, battle. Let's see. I wanna go and show a battle that I can take on my own. Dragon Balls. I tr I'm trying to remember if there is. Not Berserk, no. I'm trying to remember if there's some. Um, What has the characters to do, to do, to do? I can't remember. Actually, let's go to do, to do what I'm gonna be doing. Do time Patroller, yeah, there we go. So if you defeat Time Patroller, you get two items. Let, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's go to a quest. I'll, I'll try to beat it beat Frieza quickly, so I can show the time patrol of fights. Now, if you get a certain score on this, uh, the time patroller should appear, but it doesn't. It's pretty much a random chance of if, if he's going to show up or not. Alright, you and me, Frieza. Boom, 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 boom. Behind boom, 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 boom. Let me praise you before you die. And done. Are you gonna show up? Yes, you are. So here's someone else's character. It's um, Namek. Right. Bring it. Right, some skills. Rise to action gives um, two stamina. I should have shown that. A spirit bomb! All of my face. Material. Did I get an. Wait, I got a key item! So if you defeat. God damn it, Goku, shut up. I am. Um, if you defeat um, a time another time patroller, you get two items. First one is always going to be material item. Always. That's the one you get if you if someone else defeats the time patroller. The second item can either be a material or key item. The material item is the Hercule badge, which is either uncommon, common, uh, or rare or super rare, and they are pretty much stuff to sell. The key item is either a dragon ball or one of the time shards. And these key items have a drop rate of like 20 or something. So yeah. Uh, let's go take a walk around. Actually, nope, nope, nope. Customize battle items. I need something here. Mm. 
just use that out the way. Boost that attributes, here's my attributes. You can see I've done zero to strike supers because I don't like strike supers, they are just awful in this game. Key plus super is incredibly low and I had to boost that up massively. Basic attack is basic attack. This having these two amounts just here gives me six bars of key and stamina, which I find good enough. And max health I haven't really bothered touching it because I don't die that often. Test skill sets rise to action which just gives two gives two bar of stamina. Finish breaker is what I showed earlier. That's a Vegeta uh, trained skill. Maximum charge is pretty much just like energy charge but gives it faster but it takes longer time to actually start charging up. Spirit bomb, well it's a spirit bomb. A small spirit bomb, not a massive one. I used to actually run a uh, Gallic gun to do a massive combo. Super Saiyan, well it's pretty much what you expect. Super Saiyan 2 is more powerful but trains more uh, key. I find Super Saiyan 1 to be just good enough. And here's the other skills. Chain Destructor Disparages. I think it's, it's a Krillin only skill. Uh, Krillin. Uh, learn, um. I can't. I don't know. This sounds like something Krillin would teach you. And of course, Final Flash. I'm just gonna change the, some of these up. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Victory Cannon. I don't use this actually, so never mind. Equipment, here's my equipment. Accessory, of course. I had had so, but then I saw Halo, and of course. Yes, the Zizos that give you power. This increases my key blast and but takes down my stamina a bit. But every time I defeat an enemy, I gain more attack power. And it actually increases the um, stamina refill. So, there's that. The parallel quest online offline is what I've shown. So, team registration, I don't bother with. You can actually just go and talk with the characters if you want. If you press Y on an Xbox controller, when you need another character, you can see there's that. Which, not too shabby. Must be another Saiyan. Oh, here in the second area is uh, time space delivery. I've gained from the system like four Dragon Balls throughout my time of playing this which is 46 hours <laughs> that's a lot of hours I put in the game I pretty much did just the side quest and the main quest which or oh, the story mode is here there's trunks, there's supreme card time Trunks is the person you'd go talk to when you actually want to start a mission. I'd like to uh, start from the beginning, but you can't do it. You can't. Nada. No starting from beginning. You can create another character, sure, but... What's the point? Because you're gonna be still at the same point. I actually started with um, uh, a Namek. A Namekian person, and then I kind of just switch o switch over to Saiyan. So here's the sagas. There's ten sagas. Nine of them can be uh, accessed straight away. The tenth one you need time shards, which is the Legendary Super Saiyan saga. There's even the prologue. When you click this, there's the missions. The, these actually all connect to each other, so when you start a saga and when you beat one of these, it gives you an option to leave if you want. 
but you are supposed to just go through what I actually used to do. But I started a saga and just went forward. And and that actually worked really well until this point. This is the point where I kind of got stuck, so I, I went and grinded a bit. And then I really didn't have any problems moving on throughout the, throughout the game. And of course, based on your uh, score, you get it. Alright, let's go through the ranks quickly. Test. The lowest one is D. Then there's C, B, A. Pretty standard. Then there's an S rank from the Sonic games. And then. Of course, there's the one in here, which is the Z rank, which is incredibly hard to get, believe me or not. So I could go show a story mission, but nah, I'm not gonna spoil anything from the story. I could give a quick plot summary of the game. What is it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, the plot summary really quickly. Um, for the other games, it's always the same storyline from the manga and anime. In this, you're pretty much there's two people messing up the timeline, and you have to go and fix it. That's the story of this game, pretty much. Just fix the story that you've been playing through for over 20 years now. No, bag, item list. How many do I need? I need one, four, and seven. Not, not gonna be getting those for a while. I just need to defeat the time patrollers in training during quests. Not online, but during quests. That there was the World, um, uh, world Championship Air Arena. I'll go back quickly. The loading times in, in the game are Reason blue, not anything special, but nothing too bad either. Here's the world tournament reception, where you, I assume, is some kind of world tournament thingy. A local battle. So if you wanna go split screen battle, you come here. Interesting. Sir. Yeah, yeah, challenge, blah blah blah. I wonder if. Anyone actually has fought my character during during their quests. There's the shop where you can buy lots of different capsules or then you or you can do what I do, which is go to mixing item. Where are they, where are they actually? Um, I got the items, where the hell are they? Oh, that's purchased, whoops. Oh, Broly clothes. Super useful, but it uh, upgrades the strike super, which I don't use. So does that, never mind. Whoops, sell. When did I get those anyway? Mixing items, rare, yeah, I'm sell. I'm sell. I got over 2 million in coins. I, I never buy anything. I just get and then I, then I sell the don't, things I don't need. I did buy all the skills here though, which includes the Super Saiyans. Clothing store, I pretty much just bought these that I have. Accessory, pretty much just the Halo. Oh, there's Frieza. No need to trade with him anymore. Because he is one of the three characters I finished training with. Wait. At the mixing shop, which. Welcome. I could have sworn was all broken. Maybe not. I never touch it. If I want something, I'll just go and buy it. And then we are back here. Here's the map. Yeah, not too big of an area, but nothing too small either. Let's end off with 
team battles, the AI is kind of retarded on your side. And if you are, if you actually get stuck in one of these, the enemy AI, AI will just come and fight you, which is super annoying. But let's go to a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'm gonna take my character and I'm gonna go against the best character in the game, of course. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Go on, show me your power. All right, where do I wanna go? I could go with random. There's the world stage, port landing, plant Namex, L game, West City, Cami Lookout, Space. Interesting. These are two that I haven't seen before because I only have uh, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 2, which I still consider a really good uh, game if you want to know the story because it covers like everything there's like 200 plus story missions it's not old manga it's also the movies at the time a Dragon Ball GT right Supreme Kai's World West City Destroyed Cell Games Destroyed Namek Mountains Hyperdol Time Chamber Wasteland Mountain Open Field Sky Capsule Corporation, Algar Lake, and Glacier. They are your, they are your arenas. Where do you want to go? I'm just gonna go all random. I'm not looking. Go. We went to Space Earth. Me versus Space for Cheetah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I'm kind of good in this game. I must say. But can I beat this good? Only 3 minute time limit. You wanna fight actually. Got, got some moves in. Oh god, he has the shield thingy. The shield is annoying. Like, I really mean super annoying because you have to do some damage. And they can just counter you whenever they feel like. And that's that. That was easier than I thought it would. Yes, rematch. I want to actually show off some skills now. The music track is one of the best I've ever heard. Are you gonna let me actually charge up? You are not. Oh, he went to put the super shield. But I got him in the back. Gally gun! I locked. Uh oh. That's Big Bang Kamehameha times 100 right there. That's pretty good for just by, uh oh. Oh god, that was close. Gally down! I blocked it. You can actually block, block uh, their attack, but it drains your stamina. Oof. I lost a little bit of health there as well. Right. You wanna stay still? Super Saiyan. Final flash! Final flash! Thank you, Vegeta. Right, let's get out of here. Before I go, I wanna go and show the best grinding spot for the game. If you wanna grind XP, this is the place to go. It can't, uh, you can't need to have been in the game before 
before this. Because it's one of the last missions in the game. Create a festival. And you don't even, even need AI for this one. If you want, you can take the AI, but you lose uh, some XP from that. We well, pretty much just have to defeat your three great eggs. Sounds simple. One thing I don't like is the fact that you actually can't just go through the portal and go to another area. You have to lock on and then press B to go through. I don't know what the button is on the keyboard because keyboard is not really something you should be playing this with. Racing games should be played with a race, a racing wheel or a controller. And fighting games should be played with a controller and platforms. Only first person shooters should be played with um, keyboards and mouse. Right, Great Ape Vegeta. And you fail. The Great Apes, you just have to kill their stamina. And then you can start doing damage. But just by hitting him all crap in the tail, which I'm gonna demonstrate does massive amount of damage. And the locking all system, by the way, is super awful. Oof. The lock on system is awful. It will just lock on to random character, and if you wanna change character, it just doesn't work. For me, one time out of ten, the character actually locks onto the one enemy I want him to lock onto. I should be collecting these material items as well. I, I'm no rush. I'm, I'm in no rush. I think the time is like five minutes or something. I can beat this guy rather easily. One thing that is kind of weird that you don't need this. This is the scouter, by the way. Lets you scan around. You don't need a um, scouter accessory to actually just scout around, which is, which I just find a bit odd. Right. There's Bardock. Blocking takes away stamina. If you run out of stamina, you can't block or supercharge or do anything. See, I want. See, there I wanted to go for the tail, but I went for the portal instead. Man, you take a lot of hits. Grabbing the tail is pretty much just the best way of getting rid of this. And th now you're in the tunnel or you get the uh, time patroller. Yeah, we get a time patroller. Which is nice. I'm just gonna go around a bit, get some uh, items which I don't need, but I get more XP because if you find three, uh, uh, five items in the world, you, you get some extra XP out of that. Also, while I'm here, Oof, max out my key and back to the sky. Who is gonna pay? It's gonna be a Saiyan. Ikari nerf received. Oof. God damn it, you have a Guido skill. Final flash! Ah, didn't get another Dragon Ball this time. But look at the amount of XP you get. I don't believe it! You're seriously awesome! Here's the value cri criteria. And you just do this. Last enemy with ultimate attack is what I did. Three trolls, no sweat, treasure hunter and outnumbered. You pretty much get this automatically if you don't take any, don't take any part to fight with you. It's gonna be harder, but hey, you get the extra XP out of it. Right, that was Dragon Ball Xenoverse.
Thanks for watching and um, go buy this game if you're a uh, Dragon Ball fan, which I love Dragon Ball. So yeah, this is essentially cool game for me. If you like fighting, it uh, fighting game it, as a fighting game, this is okay. But go for Budokai 3 instead. And yeah. I don't have anything else to say. Thanks guys for watching and um, goodbye.